If you have trouble motion tracking smaller objects, right click on the playback window, go to zoom level and zoom about 75 to 100%. Click on the clip and enable motion tracking. Place the box on the person or the object you want to follow. Resize it, right click on it again, go back to zoom level and change it to fit. Now start tracking. Wait for it to finish and change it from none to the title or the element that you added. And you're done. Today I will show you tips and tricks that will make your editing easier. For more tutorials make sure to subscribe and without wasting any time let's get right into it. To change the duration of all the photos at once, first you have to turn on Auto Ripple and select all the photos. Right click and go to Duration. Let's change it from 5 to 2. Press OK and that is done. If you want to change the duration of only some of them, hold Ctrl and click on the photos that you want to change the duration of. So right click again, go to Duration and change it to 5. Press OK and that is done. Also, if a photo doesn't fit on the screen, right click on it and go to Crop to Fit. To change the duration of the photos before adding them on the timeline, go to File, down to Preferences, Editing and change it from 5 to 3 seconds. You can also change the default duration of transitions, effects and freeze duration. When you have the settings you want, press OK. Now when you add the photos on the timeline, they will be 3 seconds long. Finally, in Filmora 10.1 you can keyframe titles. So let's go to Titles, add one on top, click on it, go to Animation on the side. You can find the preset animations, but to create your own go to Customize. Add the keyframe at the start. You can change the rotation, scale, position and the opacity. I will make the text smaller, go a couple of frames forwards and increase the scale back to normal. This line shows the change that will happen. So it starts small and grows big. You can play with it to get the look you want. For example, I will lower the opacity to zero so the text disappears. Instead of placing a long video into the timeline, you can use the brackets on the side to select only a portion of it. So click on that and I want to get only the first 5 seconds. So drag it and then place the video. So instead of a 36 second video, you place the 5 second one. Let's say you created a title that you really like and you want to use it on other projects too. To do that, click on it and go to save as custom. Name it whatever you want, for example, first title and press OK. Now anytime you go to Titles and Custom, you will find the text that you created. To use it, add it on the timeline and you can also change it. Click on it and type whatever you want. If you have a song or an intro that you use on every single project, instead of importing here, go to Shared Media. Let's add one, for example these songs, and open. Now anytime you create a new project, go to Shared Media and you will find them there. For more Filmora tips and tricks make sure to watch this other video.